What's going on, guys? War Chariot here, and we are ready to take on Lawrence, the first Vicar. So we got our gig saw, and we have our fire paper, and we are fucking ready to rock and roll. Um, we know that beasts are weak to saws and fire, so we're going to use that knowledge, and we're going to fucking murder us some bosses. See if this guy dropped vials. He did. Now, again, I don't think I have the right runes equipped, but I honestly probably won't change them unless I die here. So, let's fucking check out this cutscene. We also have new armor. Got the cane her set. Alright, Lawrence. It's me and you, buddy. It's because we have a skull. Get in on this popsicle. Oh, the frame drop. Oh, shit. Come on, big boy. Big money damage. Oh shit, talk about big money damage. Talk about big money damage. Come on, Lawrence. Trying to play left or play right here. And now he's starting to stumble. Now, I'm not too familiar with his move set in this phase. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh shit. Running a little low on blood boils. Come on, Lawrence. And there you go, folks. Lawrence, the first fucking Vicar, taken down first try. Although he did take us to zero blood vials, which, uh, that is, that is no joke. And the rune we did acquire there uh, allows us to go full beast mode. And if you remember the NPC we encountered early on in the DLC that was doing the beast jumps with the dual beast claw, the rune allows us to do that jump attack. So um, if you're doing a beast build, that is definitely a really fucking cool thing to have. Well, I believe... Oh, and before we go here, I did get these two items off recording... Uh, I got the Beast Cutter, and I acquired, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, the Butcher Set, over by the Church Cannon guy. Um, bought a few other, like I bought the, or I got the Repeating Pistol, upgraded that. Just fucking around with that. Um, I bought, like, as many armor sets as I could. I think I have every armor set in the game. Minus uh, Hendrix set, which we'll obviously have to get NG+. And uh, minus anything that we get in Chalice Dungeons, like the Bone Ash set, which I'm super stoked to get. So, uh, yeah. Now, I believe, besides Garman and Moon Presence, uh, there's really not much left to do main game besides wrap up getting items that we don't have. Um, one place we didn't go and I've been putting it off and I just keep forgetting about it, is the Hunter's Workshop in the real world, not in the, uh, or not the Hunter's Dream, like in the actual world. Um, so I want to go there and grab... I'm going the wrong way. So I want to go there and grab everything that we didn't get there. Items like the old Hunter Bone and the Doll Set armor set we didn't get so we'll have to go do that watch out fuck boy I'm on a mission Alright, um, now we have to go, here, let me spend all this on, like, um, I'm actually gonna buy blood vials, and, uh, quick silver bullet, okay, so this is, I believe we can go to Cathedral Ward and get there pretty easily. Yeah, I believe it's just over here.
Alright, so we have to go up. I don't know, we go over here, but we gotta go down instead. And all the enemies in this area right now are just fucking joke city. Like, these are like mid game enemies, and we are post DLC. So we're basically going to shit on them. We have to... Oh yeah, we have to go down here. So... Yeah, we have to go down here, because... That's the tree. That's like the one that Garman's at the foot of. There's also a door that I want to get to, and it's right there. Yeah. No, can I walk out on that? I don't think I can. Fuck. I think I have to stick that landing. Either way, I'm not... Actually, I wonder if we can stick it from this side. If not, we'll have to come back and grab it. Because there's something behind that door. Messenger top hat. Um. I think we have to, I think we'll have to make the jump from up higher. Madman's knowledge. Um, see now in Dark Souls, this fall would kill you. But Bloodborne fall damage is like super forgiving. This guy's normally kind of tough to beat, but... I'm trying to get the parry off on him. Alright. I'm just gonna beat his ass. Got the beast rune. Alright. This is actually a whole little area we haven't even been to yet. But you'll see here, we'll clear it in like a quick minute. Like we were meant to come here probably like not long past Vicar because it has this and this is like meant for early game. Uh, the fire blood gemstone. You're supposed to find that like pretty early on. This is just a pretty short section of an area that, uh, you know, there's not really whole, a whole lot to. I think there's a bag man over here. Unless it's already like. Unless like the bag man time is already over. Oh yeah, the sweaty set. We never got that. Yeah, see that's it's just it's just like one big loop. At some point if you come here there's like a bag man standing over here. And it uh kinda fucks you up because he's a bag man, but like There's really nothing in this game that can fuck us up now. Like 
Garmin and Moon Presence, yeah, we might die a few times to each of them, but, like, it shouldn't be a big problem. Moon Presence is the only one that I'm still kind of on the edge about just because I've never fought him. And I've literally fought him, even when Coast took us, like, 15 tries, I had fought him before, so I knew, like, what he can do. So... Oh, shit. We're back here. So... Oh, the door. Okay, so that door is how we get to the workshop. Please, bro. You guys used to be a thing, and now you're just not a thing. So, there's that. And Bagman's dead. And he... Leaves a madman's knowledge? Okay, so we'll have to make this trip one more time. I think we have to make that jump. Oh my god! There we go. And abandon old workshop. So this is actually a completely new area, but it's not. And there's just a few things we gotta grab here. One is the doll set, which apparently has like really good for like farming souls. The old hunter bone, which Increases dodge frames, I think, when dashing, or it makes you like slightly invisible when you dash. And the fourth, one third umbilical cord. And an abandoned doll. And I'm pretty sure that is it for this little area. Quick, short little area, kind of makes you go, oh, you know, when you find it. And, uh, I'm sure it has some significant lore relevance. But, that is pretty much it for Bloodborne main game and DLC. Uh, obviously, besides Garman and Moon Presence, which we have to wait till the end to do, because once we beat Garman slash Moon Presence, the game's over. Um, so, before we beat him, I'm going to make sure we have all weapons and all armor sets in the game. I'm going to go through a list of runes and, uh, blood gems. I think I'm going to visit Marigo's loft again and go back through the area with those winter lanterns and see if I can't. Uh, kill them and look around that area a little bit more but other than that we uh, we're probably about 95% done with main game and then after main game is 100% wrapped up we're gonna dig into chalice dungeon starting with this one um, and then working all the way up and then also doing some short root chalices 
which are uh, random generated versions and modifications of uh, chalice dungeons. So, that's where we stand. And uh, that's where we're heading. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we will see you in the next episode of my Bloodborne playthrough.